Ladies, today I want to talk to you about Christmas. This is the time of year that millions of people celebrate the birth of Jesus. Now, I realize that we don't know when Jesus was born. In fact, I've heard some say that it would not have been in December because shepherds didn't tend their flocks outside in the winter at night. But this is the time of year that the world wants to talk about Jesus. So, I'm in. I'll happily talk about my Lord and Savior 365 days a year. So today, I'm not here to discuss the accuracy of the date or the lack of instruction from Scripture on how to celebrate Jesus' birth or anything else that would prevent me or distract me from telling others about our Savior. If you're a Christian, then you know that we are instructed to do good and help others. Galatians 6.10 So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are the household of faith. And I can't think of a better way to do that than spreading the gospel of Christ. When we really stop to think about what Jesus has done for us, we should be filled with so much gratitude, joy, and love that we just can't wait to share that love with others, right? So now it's Christmas and the whole world is talking about baby Jesus. But did you know that not everyone knows that story? It's true. Oh, they may know some of it, or maybe they saw a show about it. But the whole story of how God worked to put just the right people in just the right places is not something with which they may be familiar. And ladies, that's what we call an open door. We may be handed the perfect opportunity to do good by telling others about Jesus. When the Apostle Paul went to Athens, he saw all the altars with false gods on them. There was even one labeled to the unknown God. And this is what Paul said, Acts 17, 23. For as I passed along and observed the objects of your worship, I found also an altar with this inscription, to the unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. I just love that. Now he could have said, you guys have it all wrong. All those idols you have here are false gods. So I'm going to straighten you out by telling you about the real God. But Paul didn't do that. He started where they were, and without condemnation, Paul simply said, Hey, let's talk about this unknown God. And he began to tell them about Yahweh, Jehovah, the real God. Paul used that open door to bring the good news to the lost there in Athens. Ladies, the world has opened its doors for us, so let's boldly walk in. Many who are lost will not even begin to talk about Jesus at any other time of the year, but they will now. So let's start talking. Let's be like Paul, willing to take a positive, gentle approach with those who are lost. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19, Paul says, For though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them. Paul was dedicated to reaching the lost and was willing to give up his rights to do so. To the Jews, he became as a Jew. To those outside the law, he became as one outside the law, but not breaking God's laws. And to the weak, he became weak. Why, Paul? Why would he make such sacrifices? 1 Corinthians 9.23 I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share with them in its blessings. Did you see that? Paul was willing to do whatever it took, except breaking God's laws, in order to take the good news of Jesus Christ to the world. That should be us. We should be so passionate about the message, we wouldn't allow 
any distractions from keeping us from telling the world about Jesus. So please, ladies, let's not get caught up in the dates, times of the year, the fact that the wise man don't belong in the nativity scene, or anything else that would keep us from talking about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So ladies, let's all say, Merry Christmas. Let's talk about our Jesus. I thank you for once again joining me for a lesson from God's Word. I pray that you have a blessed holiday and never forget that God loves you and so do I.